Imagine a world where community conflicts are resolved through dialogue instead of violence. Where all religious and cultural traditions are threads in a social fabric woven with respect and understanding. What you've just imagined is the work of the G20 Interfaith Summit. The G20 Interfaith Summit is an excellent opportunity to acknowledge and to contribute all of the faiths, all of the religions, to make our social well-being and also our national and international communities. The G20 Summit focuses on economic issues, but there is an increasing recognition around the world that optimal economic development cannot be achieved without paying attention to the spiritual dimensions of human life. What is man? Since prehistory, all throughout cultures, uh, all throughout the globe, man has and is a religious animal by nature. It's all very well for politicians uh, to stand up and talk about increasing and, and improving on the economy of the world and providing for jobs. And that's, they're easy things to say. But the whole community of every country has got to get behind those, uh, those promises and those aspirations. And it comes down to people uh, very much like the people in this room tonight. It's good for us to come together and talk to each other about our differences, or our similarities. But what's most powerful, if we are interested in really learning about one another and developing the relationships that, that will make a strong society, it's best to take an issue that we find of, of equal importance and work together on how we can address that. It is primarily in the religious communal context that individuals out of personal responsibility and a sense of obligation to a higher order willingly care for their communities. There is also clear evidence that religious freedom goes hand in hand with other types of freedom that have been found important for inclusive growth. We believe that pluralism and diversity enriches society and are essential to socio-economic development, stability, and prosperity. There are three uh, reasons why engaging with people and their beliefs is important and can improve the state of the world from an economic perspective. First is partnerships. Secondly, reach and effectiveness is important. And finally, the World Economic Forum talks about transformation of conflict. We don't waste time in the UAE to look for the differences of the religion between which religion and the other. We are really concerned about many important issues. This is an amazing event. This is not just an interfaith summit, but this is a summit that, that alerts and describes how uh, economic development and religious freedom go hand in hand. I found it fascinating listening to people from around the world and from different faiths, exploring the relationship between religious freedom, uh, economic development, and some of the legal dimensions of it. There's a lot of commonalities, and, and this is the, the whole idea of uh, interfaith forums, is to uh, talk about the, the commonalities rather than the differences. To be here now and to see a G20 meeting that goes for three days uh, on interfaith dialogue with all these different people, it's just fantastic. And um, it does my heart good and I'm sure it do the whole world a lot of good. I thank you so very much for being here, for being part of this, the inaugural G20 Interfaith Summit. And I ask that you all be blessed so that next year we can meet again in Turkey and I officially declare this conference closed. Thank you very much.